So I was in ZBrush the other day and uh, well, this is the video. I so happen to be recording and this is the video footage from that. Uh, and what it is, is I just, I came across an idea in my head that I should be messing around in ZBrush with no sort of specific purpose. Uh, I should be in ZBrush just for this, just for the sake of being in ZBrush and, and messing around with the tools because that is pretty much how you learn, you know. And you know, I do believe that there is a strong sort of learning curve in in ZBrush. Like um, when you first open the program, you know, it's pretty intimidating. Uh, and the only way to overcome that sort of feeling is to be in, in ZBrush and, you know, just messing around. Uh, and that's pretty much what I'm doing here. Um, the idea that I sort of went into, into ZBrush with was, uh, I think I just at the time, I just watched Kung Fu Panda 2. <laughs> uh, and I had this sort of, I was just chilling in, in my room. And I had this sort of weird sort of uh it was like a you know when you see like a little movie in your head or like a little weird scene and it's super vivid well i often have these sort of weird sort of little movie sessions <laughs> and i saw this sort of panda um but he wasn't a fluffy panda he wasn't cute all his his face was like cracked and just like falling apart and stuff and basically it was a really cliched sort of little movie that I played in my head basically this panda saw his dad being killed by some sort of assassin um, and he vowed one day to sort of train up and kill him so it's pretty kill bill sort of style um, <laughs> and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much what I saw and the scene that I saw was this panda he was sort of leant against a tree and it, it was all it was really sort of vivid and realistic this sort of thing that I saw and um, he he had this hat on and it was covering it, the sort of he, you could only see like the the bottom of his nose and he had this sort of really awesome looking straw hat on uh, and it, it was so like I don't know it was just so cool and I just thought about how I would build that and that's pretty I mean, it's a bit weird uh, my mind sort of does this every now and then after I watch a film um, so I'm just messing around in ZBrush now figuring out how I could build this thing you know. And I think doing shit like this is pretty important uh, just to progress as an artist. Uh, you know, just doing random ideas that pop into your head, you know, well, oh, I should make this, you know. You should just do it. Don't think about it, you know. If you have an idea for something that you've seen in, or you just imagined, just start building it, you know, because you learn so much. And I'd never done anything like this before. Um, what I actually did to make that hat uh, is I made a, a sort of, you, you saw the cone, um, and I, I used something called the insert mesh. I made the sort of object you saw at the start, a cylinder, I made that into a, an insert mesh brush, and I used radial symmetry on a cone as uh, basically as a collision mesh, so I could build around all this sort of, you know, just the general shape of a, a straw hat, you know? And it, it worked pretty well, you know, it looks a bit mental, it looks a bit noisy and stuff, but other than that, I think that's a pretty good basis to sort of make some of it. And I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I'm just messing around with more insert brushes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just playing around, man. There's, there's no sort of incentive or idea behind this apart from this weird sort of it, it sort of daydream I had, you know. That's, that's a good way. I was, I was daydreaming about this panda. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you guys have weird shit like this, but, you know, I often do. I mean, I watch a lot of movies, man. And I have some weird fucking daydreams about stuff. Uh, uh, I think it's pretty cool though. I get a lot of ideas from doing like daydream sort of projects. So, um, but yeah, I just think a lot of people. You know, I browse the internet quite a lot for you know inspiration and looking at people's work. And uh, a lot of the time, I just feel that people just really stick to their comfort zones. You know, they, they just model the same shit over and over again. And I, I, I'm going to admit that I do that quite a bit. I mean, if you look at my portfolio, uh, it's basically a portfolio of sort of creepy monsters and shit. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to, well, I'm, I'm making a decision now. You know, I'm going to do some different, just totally out of my comfort zone. Because that is how you progress, you know. You do stuff that is you're not used to doing that is how you learn you know don't stick to the safe option 
because that is it's too easy you know you don't even challenge yourself so i'm making a conscious uh, effort to uh, do some projects i'm going to do some women i never do i never sculpt females uh, it's totally out of my comfort zone uh, I, my female in anatomy knowledge is, is pretty much next to none so i'm really going to study up on that uh, do some i mean i think there's a lot of interesting things to do with a female character I, I, just me being a male because I, I know what it's like to be a male. I know what my mindset's like. Uh, so to, to sort of experiment with something different, like a female, then it, it's, it's pretty exciting, really. And, yeah, the whole purpose of this video was that it crashed and I lost everything. And it was very annoying. But apart from that, I don't know, I found it very interesting sort of experience. So, yeah, have some fun in ZBrush and uh, just make sure you do projects that are out of your comfort zone because... It's the best best way to learn, man. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, in a bit.